This is gonna be my last stop before I call it a day. I found some great stuff today. Uh, I'm being super stingy. I'm looking for stuff for Etsy and whatnot. So let's go in and see what we can find. I remember this room as uh, having some pretty good deals. It's a, it's a little chaotic in here, which is honestly the way I like it. Let's see, it doesn't, I didn't think this place would have much turnover. Ooh, I kind of like this bracelet for me. <laughs> um, $14, I'm not paying that, I'm way too cheap. It is 60s, that is neat, like the shape. Um, I feel like there was a discount maybe, maybe I made that up. Yeah, I don't see any discount signs. Who knows, I remember they had some vendors uh, that had some really cool stuff in the back too. Oh, I know I said no earrings, but look at those fish. Those are so much fun. Fenton, $13. That's probably about what I'd sell that for too. This is kind of a cool vase. Bone China, Ireland. It's so quiet in here. It's like a little much. This is such a fun house dress. Oh my gosh. I love the print on that. <laughs> totally retro. I'm kind of obsessed with it. I remember I had a lot of fun going through this booth. What is this planter? Ceramic lady knitting planter. Samson Imports. That is really different. I've never seen that one before. $8.50. I feel like I'd be remiss if I didn't pick that up just on principle. It's so strange. Do I have any cracks? No, looks all right to me. I think I'm gonna grab that. Let's see. What are these little birds? Pin holders, oh, $20. Oh, good grief. Oh, with pins, I see. Hat pins, those are sweet. I love the ones with little gems on them. Oh my gosh, look at this Humpty Dumpty. He is fantastic. Definitely um, on the newer side though. Oh, that sound is cringy, sorry. Look at this, a cat on a pipe. We like that, 20 bucks. We don't like that, unfortunately. These are hilarious. Are they from casinos or? No, I guess it's an old chain restaurant. Oh, what do we have in here? Okay, first of all, well, now I see the lady head vase, 13.50. Well, we're gonna have to pick that up. Does she have chips on her? She's a little bit on the newer side, but still, maybe not. That's definitely Rubens. Yeah, I think it's probably a little bit on the newer side. But look at the Valentine's Day planter. This one's only $3.75. It is Rubens Japan. It definitely um has seen some, some better days, but I might pick that up anyway. Well, a lot of people ask me if I have them. This is pretty. This is only $6.75. I better get a basket. This is... I'm trying to open this freaking thing. Hold on. There we go. Look at this. That is so cool. John Sebastian Bach. I have never seen that. Well, I'm going to go ahead and get that. It is a really different planter. All right, well, I dropped that stuff off and got a basket. So far, I'm only at $35, and I've gotten four super unique planters. I remember this booth is having some really awesome uh, vintage glass, but the prices were just about what I'd get for the after fees. I will say the prices are insanely reasonable here thus far. Here's one of those Lefton cat figurines. These can be kind of pricey. Can't tell if that's, that's a $15. Oh, it looks like Lefton. It's the exact same mold. Huh, that's kind of interesting. It's a little bit different in the face now that I look at it. This one's Napco. I just, uh, $16. That's about what I sell those for, too. This one's $12. Yeah, I feel these Acne Japan ones don't sell for as much as they used to. The planters, the figurines still do well. It's just the planters I've some trouble with. This is so cute, this little rubber face. Unfortunately, this one does not sell for much. The Huckleberry Series 28 is definitely about retail on that. 
I love all the little fun miniatures they have here. Look at this face. This is kind of cool. Japan, of course. Six dollars. Does it have any chips? Because I kind of like it. I don't think this would sell for much, but it's a unique shape. Hmm, I'm on the fence about picking that up. I might, I might go through once and just see what, uh, oh my gosh, and look, this one has a ladybug and a butterfly. A little toothpick holder. This one's five dollars. That's kind of nice. I feel like it would be weird if I didn't pick this up. Especially because of the, uh, it's got ladybug and butterfly. Yeah, I'm gonna get this. Again, it's kind of something that won't sell for much, but it's really fun to uh, $8. That's kind of neat. Metal shoe ashtray. It's kind of fun to have little knickknacks for whatnot to fill in gaps. Ah, uh, alas, this is the booth I remember having such a fun time in. I'm really excited to see that they got a light. I remember it was very, very dark. All right, 20% off items, $10 or more. Look at all these fun rubber dolls. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pick this one up first. Oh my gosh, let me just like knock everything over. 14, still squeaks a little. <laughs> hmm, that is cute, the little composition doll. Oh, man, I'm a little overwhelmed. I feel like the last time I was here, everything was like so cheap. Yeah, this one's got a broken butt. Look at this one. This is so funny. Oh my gosh, look at this book. Sans his little helper. That's so sweet. These, um, these, I feel like they don't sell that well. Sun rubber. Maybe, um, yeah, the sun rubber. This one's kind of fun, though, with the baseball cap and the red pajamas. What's this? Is this sun rubber as well? This one's 17. I feel like somebody did their homework on that. Oh, oh my gosh. That was alarming. <laughs> Look at this rattle. Oh my gosh, that is adorable. It's like a little chick. It's definitely 1950s. 750 and 20%. No, it's not 20% because it's over, under. I mean, look at this. Maron, wait a minute. Hold up. Well, I've just been down here on the floor kind of debating buying this and I kind of feel like it would be weird not to. I keep looking on the internet but I don't see anything the same. Only ones that are yeah I'm not sure about this but there's a lot in there and only one is uh, broken so for $12 I kind of feel like I should get it. No only two. Are no 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 I'm seeing two are broken actually. One candy cane and one Santa Claus. Uh, I'm not sure if I want to mess with this. It's definitely, it's definitely worth picking up, but wait, what is that? Oh, I just saw these weird little things. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. This might not be for me, even though it's, uh, I'm going to go ahead and say likely a pretty great deal. But then there's this. This is incredibly cool. Oh my gosh. This vintage photo album is amazing. And it's even got, oh my gosh, this is too cool. And it's $15.20. So for $12, I'm definitely gonna go ahead and pick this up. This is a real treasure. Wow, I can't even believe that this is only 12 bucks. And then of course I'm sitting next to this thing of bags. But this one stood out to me. This is super fun. It's got like the bigger mesh and these uh, details on it definitely stood out. So I thought it might be Whiting and Davis. Yep, it's pretty sturdy. It's in really good condition too. Let's see here. Oh yeah, that's Whiting and Davis for sure. Hold on. Yeah, and I kind of love it. It's in great condition, super well made. It's a nice bag and uh, it's an unusual size. I feel like it's a little bit larger than they usually are. So for like 14 bucks or whatever, I'm gonna go ahead and take that too. I have so much fun stuff now that I'm kind of unzoned off those uh, art glass charms. Halloween noisemakers, those are really good prices. Uh, I'm not sure if they're for me though at that price. I'd like to spend a little bit less. I oh, know, I'm a cheapo. So I do think I could, 
about double my money on those. Maybe not quite, but there's so many listed that I don't really want to mess with it. Oh, I love that. Even though I'm not a horse person, yes. I kind of feel like that joke has played out. But also look at this weird baby frame. I had to step away from that booth for a second. I feel like every time I looked closer, there was more there right in front of me. So I just had to refocus my eyes. Went across the uh, hall here. Some interesting stuff. Nothing quite as... Uh, Nothing more overwhelming than what I've gotten in my basket so far, I'll tell you that, though. I found some great stuff. Wow! Look at you! Oh my gosh! Knickerbocker Sad Bear. $52. I don't want to spend that up front. That's pretty close to. I feel like the last one I had of these sold for like. It was a lot. There's some, you can get lucky with these ones on eBay. It's the Russian ones that you really gotta look out for. The Knickerbocker ones can be a little bit more on the common side. This booth seems to have some really unique stuff and it's 30% off. Of course, all these like random pieces of uh, fake bread are what originally attracted me, but now I'm gonna go over here, check this out. What's going on here? It's artist signed. Handmade ceramic seashell, uh, seashell, seahorse, excuse me, $12 and then 30%. That's pretty cool. I think I'm gonna go ahead and pick that up. You know, these little seashell creatures, this one's vintage. Uh, they don't sell that well for me, but I love the little lady one. How much is she? 15, yeah, I'm, I'm nervous to pick that up, especially because they're so fragile. Not that I can't handle a fragile item. Oh my God, what is this? Vintage cartoon rock. <laughs> I kind of love this. I want to get this for somebody just because it's weird. <laughs> um, I'm not sure about that. Okay, but anyway, back to what I was doing. Oh, wow, this is really cool. What is this? This is just like an ashtray or something. I have a lot going on here. Hold on. Yeah, this seahorse I'm definitely going to pick up. That is really interesting. Well, alas, lo and behold, here is a boxer figurine. It's got its original uh, collar on it. Is that a crack, though? That doorbell situation is going to drive me nuts. Yeah, it looks like it has a little hairline in it, unfortunately. Good grief. Holy cabbage patch kids um i actually learned the other day i was watching this weird show on amazon that uh the world oh at least the united states largest cabbage patch collection is in maryland and it is insane you should google it if if you think you know what that looks like you have no idea <laughs> and they've spent like over oh was that for originals they spent like over a hundred thousand dollars three dollars what why is it three dollars? What's wrong with that? Oh my god, there's an animal here. Oh! <laughs> oh my gosh, that dog is so cute. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this. Let's see what else they got. Oh my gosh, what are these pins? How strange are these? Oh my gosh. Seven dollars. I kind of want to get one to try it out. <laughs> Try it out on whatnot that is. This one's really interesting. I think this one might be my favorite. This one's this one's got something, some extra character to it. Oh my gosh, but wait, there's so much more. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Let's check this out. What look at that. That's wild looking. Hmm, I wonder if these are signed and I'm just completely missing it. I love the squirrels. Those are for the pair, which isn't bad. I don't think I'm going to get those today. Wow, they have some really fun jewelry. What is this? This necklace is fantastic. 60s. $12. I kind of want that for myself. That's really fun. I'm not sure if I want to spend $12 on it for resale. I think I could get away with it. Oh my gosh, there's so much going on here. Cat in a basket. 
oh, this, like the, see, I think I'm gonna have to come back here because I only, oh, <laughs> hi, I live less than an hour away from here, but the amount of noise that's happening is insane, okay, let me regroup. As I said, there's a lot going on here, but I also failed to notice these. Okay, so this one is the vintage metal enamel flowers and it's got the butterfly on it. That's epic for $6. And then also this one with the beaded flower bouquet, that is vintage. Beaded flowers are very, very desirable. Um, the vintage ones, at least these are so cool. What? Oh, I wish earrings did better for me because I would get a lot of these. Like, these are so cool. What is this necklace? Look at this thing. Tortoise, 70s celluloid tortoise, what? That is so cool. I'm like, honestly, very upset about this necklace because I really want it for myself, but I am really, really, really allergic to nickel and that's definitely nickel. What does that say? Hold on. Yeah, it doesn't say anything. My eyes are playing a trick on me. I think I'm gonna come back here and just like spend a weekday here perhaps instead of a weekend <laughs> when there's dinging going on. That's weird. Yeah, this is very cool too. And that's made out of a uh, What's it called? Um, help me out, utensils. <laughs> Gosh, that's bad. I've forgotten what the word for utensils is. And that's cool. It's got like a little vintage button in the middle. Hmm. Well, that was quite an epic. Well, that was quite an epic little trip. I ended up spending $90 in there. I even grabbed a little flamingo vase at the end. Um, so I'm going to get back on the road and go home. And I will see you guys tomorrow, either at my what net, uh, what what next i'm confused i'm mixed up my next whatnot sale um let's see this week i'm having or had one thursday at one and then of course friday friday i don't think i'm going to do a shop with me video um the 14th because i'm going to do a live stream shop along from one of my favorite antique malls so that's going to start at 10 30 eastern so uh Probably no YouTube that day. I'm not sure yet. We'll see how it goes, but I'll see you guys later.